Hello everyone. I hope you all have seen Astrometrica tutorial by me and you now have Astrometrica installed in on your computers and you know how to identify a moving object as an asteroid using five different conditions. So if a moving object meets all the five requirements, then you can tag it as an asteroid. What I'm going to show you today is what if my campaign goes live, if my campaign is live, I have generated my MPC report. How do I submit it? So what I'm quickly going to do is this is an email that we receive once your campaign goes live. So this is start of campaigns IAC and your campaign, whichever campaign you are part of will be listed in this particular category. And later on your email ID with which you have registered and the password is given to you. And these are the people whom you can contact if you have any queries while assessing it or your team captains can also help you out with that. So once you go to ISC page, uh, you, you either you search ISC on Google and land up on this page or you can directly click on the web link given here. It takes you to this page and first thing that you're going to do is login. Once you log in, add your email ID and you will, you know, your password login. It takes to takes you to its home page click on campaigns you can see your campaign and whichever team you are part of so i am part of astro search 2 so i can see my practice set here so i'll show you one more thing what if i am part of say i click on my campaign but i click on any random system or any uh, random team it won't show me those things it takes me back to the home page that means you cannot log in into any other person's campaign so i go to cp devgan which i am part of right now astro search 2 and i have practice set with me right now once i download this practice set you will see a tick mark here once you submit a report there will be tick mark here as well so what I am going to do is once it unzips, we are going to analyze this report quickly. I will generate an MPC report and later on I will show you how to submit this particular MPC report. Once the data set has downloaded, I am going to go to Astrometrica. Okay, so what you should note is the name, right? PS1 practice underscore 2. So every data set that you get will have a specific name and a code. You need to remember that name and a code. Now, this is mpcorp.dat. So my system is getting updated with the latest information which has been fed into Astrometrica. So you will have to wait until this mpcorp file updates itself. Means if at all somebody has found any asteroid so that it does not coincide with your findings, it's better to update your database. So it happens automatically the moment you click on Astrometrica. So, and once it's done, it will open your Astrometrica software. And whichever MPCorp data which has been downloaded, now it's going to read and feed into its own system. I hope you all have updated Astrometrica. Now we go to file, load images wherever you have downloaded your data sets for me it's in my data downloads ps1 practice 2 i copy all the four data sets and i load into this software so once all the four data sets are loaded i perform my initial steps i am quickly going to uh, do a brief review so astrometric data reduction you can also use sh shortcut control A. So it will extract all the objects. Now, once I have done this, I am going to, after data reduction, I am going to click on moving object detection. So whichever moving objects are present in my software or in this particular image set, it's going to pop out.
now it has already located all the asteroids which are predetermined in this particular data set so i'm going to accept them i have accepted so that i do not rename this objects again so that is what this software does for you so after data reduction we do moving object detection and we go you can invert the color whichever color you like i like to work on this mode and then you do known object overlay So it will locate more objects whichever are present in this data set. Now you are good to analyze your data. So what I am going to do is I am going to blink current images. So now all the four images are being blinked so that you can detect moving objects. So as I have inserted in the previous video, I'll click my zoom button twice. I'll drag my this data set here. I am going to pull this thing here and stretch it. So that it fits my window and I'm going to take this bars, this uh, the lower one to the extreme left and the right one to the top. So that it takes me to the first box on the left hand side. So I start analyzing from here and I'm going to see whether I can locate any moving object in this particular data set. So this is a practice set. So Try to make mistakes, try to learn as much as you can in this particular data set. Now I'm going to scroll down a bit until I see a gray line. So I see this gray line agreed. So I'm trying to look at a moving object in this court and I'm not looking at any other thing. So I cannot see any moving object in this quadrant. So let's go towards right. So I'll again drag this to the top. I am moving to the right. I'm looking for a moving object in this particular frame now. There will be minor disturbances. So see, I do can see this particular three data sets, but they are not asteroids which are new. They are predetermined. Somebody has already marked them. So I cannot uh, mark them again. And I hope you all have gone through quick start guide. What if your data set does not have any asteroid in it? How are you going to submit MPC report file or how, how you are going to generate that MPC report file? That also a good thing to learn. So I would advise go to your quick start guide. Now I'm locating this frame. I cannot see any moving object. Usually I'm, I do not work this fast. I spend some time trying to see any moving objects and the more time you spend, it's better you will look at something very minor that is moving. So see, this is the setting which everyone likes the most invert image because you can simply see a white dot moving. So whatever suits your eye, follow that. Still cannot see any moving object. Now I'm going to just drag the vertical bar down and then I go towards left. So I took a movement from left to right. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to go from right to left. So no moving objects as such in this frame as well. Nope. There are moving objects in this frame which have already been marked. Keep looking. So there will be patches like this. There will be sometimes black patches that you can see. But yes, those are not asteroid. Now see, I can see a dot here, which is moving and I can see it in at least three image. So is this an asteroid? So to understand that what I, I'll click anywhere, I'll cancel this or you can stop this 
moving object i can click on this particular small object its snr value is 14.7 though it was that small its snr value is 14.7 you can see four dots roughly being lined up here but there is no bell bell shaped curve so it doesn't meet this parameter now what if i look and run this manually it's moving in straight line no it shows some weird movement so this is not an asteroid You can see something appearing here, white dot, but that's appearing only in one image set. So I'm not going to focus on that. no data sets so usually practice data sets are like this only So in the last quadrant, I still cannot see any moving objects. I'm going to go towards left. So no moving objects detected in this practice set. Now you tell me why didn't I discover anything here? Because it's a practice set. It's a practice set. It's not a new set. So most of the times you do not find any new moving objects. But yes, if you're lucky and you have good pair of eyes, you can definitely look at one more. So I'll go back to the asteroids which were already predetermined. When we did after data uh, when we did data reduction and after data reduction when you did moving object detection it popped up screens with asteroids which were predetermined and one of the asteroids was not named the fourth one so i labeled it as abc1234 and now when i go to file view mpc report file so it shows everything here when i click on accept so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this data set quickly this mpc report file copy go to your isc portal this is my isc port portal i'm going to select the image set that is practice set now i need to know who are my team members and remember whenever you analyze your report you have to select all your team members even though you are the one who is analyzing everything but you should always include the name of all the citizen scientists because you are working as a team. So it is my sincere request that select the names of all the citizen scientists and there is a particular way in which you are supposed to enter those names. So you have to uh, follow that order. So say it's L dot Trivedi. That's me. So I add this citizen scientist. So L dot Trivedi, that's the nomenclature, first letter capital dot surnames, first letter capital and everything else is in lowercase. So quickly add all your citizen scientists name like that. So I'll do mine T dot Gupta. I added him as my citizen scientist. And 
you have to do this only once here after whichever data sets you analyze these names will already be stored you won't have to type this again and again These are my citizen scientists in the current campaign. So I have selected each one of them and I'm going to paste my NPC report file here. So you have to paste your NPC report file like this. So before submitting, go up and check. Yes, PS1 practice underscore two, PS1 practice underscore. That's what I have selected from this uh, scroll down menu. Then I'm going to add checklist all my citizen scientist and once you have added your citizen scientist name i had copied my mpc report file so i'm going to check again once you have added all your citizen scientist name i'm going to paste my mpc report file here once that's done i'm going to submit my report report successfully submitted if at all you had made any error in mpc report file there would be a red box in the beginning in, uh, in the, at the end instructing what mistakes have you made and you can go back and fix those mistakes and then copy paste again your mpc report file now you see it's downloaded report submitted successfully and all citizen scientists name will be loaded in this particular thing. Now I'm good to go. So if a new data set appears now, what if each one of us starts analyzing that? That won't be wiser. So what we must do is, if we have 10 data sets here, and if I have 10 mem members, I'm going to give one data set to each of the members and let them analyze that. They'll select the names of each citizen scientist and upload it. That is what we can do. And yes, in the next round, we all can analyze the other reports. So that's how you submit your MPC report file when your campaign goes live. Happy hunting. All the best.